Disclaimer. We at Psych2Go are not licensed psychologists, and viewers should not use this video to diagnose themselves or others. If you or someone believe they might be experiencing the symptoms that could exhibit this disorder, please see a professional to get diagnosed and seek help. Now on to the video. Have you ever heard of diabulimia before? According to the National Eating Disorders Association, or NEDA, it's a media coined term that refers to an eating disorder in a person with diabetes. The sad thing about this is, even though the risk of death is 17 times higher than that of diabetes alone, diabulimia is still not considered an official eating disorder. Although women with type 1 diabetes have two times the risk of developing this disorder compared to men, according to psychologist Dr. Marilyn Rithels, it can affect anyone no matter their age or gender. The medication used to control diabetes may cause weight gain and in following, self-image issues. And in regards to women, according to an article by Network of Executive Women, a survey of nearly 1 million participants shows that men tend to have higher levels of self-esteem than women. Some key symptoms experienced include, but are not limited to, decreasing or delaying the taking of insulin, binge eating with self-induced vomiting, fear that insulin will make them fat, and fixation on body image and weight leading to low self-esteem and depression and or anxiety. There are also warning signs that loved ones can look out for in those with diabulimia, which are, but again not limited to, frequent DKA, or diabetic ketoacidosis, where the body produces high levels of blood acids called ketones which occur when the body isn't producing enough insulin. The signs for DKA are abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, confusion, fatigue, and excessive thirst. High A1C, which is a blood test that provides information on a person's blood glucose level over the past three months. Rapid weight loss, and low concentration and motivation. Complications from diabetes have serious consequences. The delay or halting of insulin doses, which is crucial and necessary for those with type 1 diabetes, will saturate the body's organs with glucose, which will lead to a number of grave consequences, such as eye and kidney damage, which can lead to blindness or organ shutdown, circulatory disease and nerve issues, which have several dire consequences, like foot amputation, stroke, heart attacks, and lack of feeling in hands and feet and hearing impairment and skin conditions, like fungal and bacterial infections. Traditional treatments for bulimia or other eating disorders can be ineffective for this disorder because it doesn't take into consideration type 1 diabetes. And so, a multidisciplinary team composed of an endocrinologist, dietitian, psychiatrist, and a psychologist who specializes in eating disorders are needed to treat diabulimia. All these experts are needed because it is not only a mental health situation, but also a physical one. Unfortunately, there aren't many treatment centers that specialize in diabulimia. As a result, countless people who suffer don't receive the help they need. Due to these dire consequences, prevalence of the disorder, and the lack of help available, this disorder needs to be recognized officially in the medical and psychological field. There needs to be awareness, because far too many diabulimia sufferers are falling in between the cracks of the system. Research needs to also be done to further understand this problem. With your help, we can spread awareness of this disorder and start taking the steps closer to saving people by liking and sharing this video. If you or anyone you know may be struggling with this, talk to a professional that is willing to listen and look into diabulimia. Don't feel ashamed to ask for help.